Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to move your Tron off of the Ledger Nano S. So let's get going. So I did a video on how to store your Tron on the Ledger Nano S. Um, and uh, got a lot of views and it was I had been waiting for a way to do that for quite some time I thought it was uh, pretty cool and so uh, in the video I moved my Tron uh, from my cryptocurrency exchange account in, onto the Ledger Nano S using the Tron scan software interface uh, and you're basically not really storing the Tron on the Ledger itself uh, the Ledger basically just holds the private key of the blockchain address and the Tron scan software is sort of managing the interface. But I had a few viewers that uh, were having trouble figuring out how to get their Tron out of that uh, wallet. So uh, I figured I'd do a video. It took me a minute or two to figure it out. So I'm going to show you how to move the Tron off of the ledger back to the cryptocurrency account in case you want to sell or uh, and I'm also going to show you how to move uh, off the ledger to the Tron watch desktop which is a desktop based wallet uh, that you may or may not prefer uh, for your long-term Tron storage so let's dive in okay so the first thing I'm going to do is open up the Tron scan desktop basically I believe you can do a lot of this directly on their website I prefer this interface all right, and uh, so basically what I need to do is uh, open up my Ledger Nano S, uh, enter the PIN, and then enter the Tron app, which I'm going to do. All right, and so I'm going to enter the Tron app by hitting both buttons. And now I can go up here to the wallet and uh, just open the account. All right, and there it is. Uh, there's about 4,000 Tron that uh, I moved into this wallet. And so what we wanna do is move this back out. We wanna uh, transfer it to somewhere else. Uh, I'm gonna do two transfers out. I'm gonna do the cryptocurrency exchange. Then I'll do the Tron watch wallet, which is a different way to hold your Tron long-term. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go into Bittrex. Uh, Bittrex is compatible with Tron. And okay, so there's a little bit of Tron left on my in my Tron wallet on uh, Bittrex. So what I want to do is uh, deposit. I want to make a deposit, and I'll copy that Tron address. See, it starts with a, a uppercase T, and then I'll go back over here to the Tron Scan wallet. All right. Now up here at the top where it says Wallet, we can just pull that down, and we've got this Send feature. So I'm going to send in, I'm going to fill in the address, which is that Tron address. And it tells me how much Tron I have available and how much do I want to do. I can max it, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do 2,000. All right. And so I've got my address, I've got my amount, and I'm going to click send. All right. And now it wants me to confirm on the Ledger device. So if you'll notice there, it's asking me a question. So I'll hit the check, right? And it says successful transaction, boom. And it uh, adjusted the balance there. And uh, we can go over to Bittrex and just uh, wait. We're gonna have to wait a few minutes. This might be a good time. It's 2.28 in the afternoon, Pacific Standard Time. And let's see if we've got any pending deposits yet. Not yet. So it takes it a minute or two to show up in pending deposits. So we'll keep an eye on that. And so also, uh, I wanted to show you how to do the trend. <laughs> Doggone it. I keep calling this tram. All right. So I'm going to show you how to uh, do the Tron Watch Wallet. And, uh, oh, I'm sorry. So it's on the Tron website. It's a community-based wallet. So you can go over here to the Tron website and choose wallets and scroll down here to the Tron wallet desktop. All right, they, it's on the website. It's called the Tron wallet desktop, but uh, when you download it and install it, it is the Tron watch wallet. So uh, I'm gonna run that. 
for the first time. I've had it installed previously, but had sort of wiped it out so that I could show you from scratch what it looks like. So basically, uh, when you first launch it, it asks you to create a new wallet and uh, just name it whatever you want, but no spaces. It won't allow spaces. We'll call this main wallet. All right, and we just click create. And it wants a password, of course. Right, create a password, a nice password. And there you go, you got your nice wallet. Now I will uh, encourage you to do the backup. Uh, you click here and backup wallet. It's gonna give you a seed. You'll wanna take care of that, get that done. All right, uh, you can uh, write down the 24 word uh, backup phrase or you can uh, cut and paste the uh, private key somewhere safe or write the private key down on a piece of paper. Uh, whatever you wanna do, you can do uh, either or both or, you know, but at least do one, all right? And you'll be able to restore your wallet in case uh, the computer crashes, or the hard drive uh, dies or, uh, you know, you have to move to a different computer. Uh, you always want to have a backup, right? All right, and so now what I want to do is transfer some of that uh, lovely Tron from my uh, Tron Scan Ledger Nano interface over to the Tron Watch wallet. Uh, so that's pretty straightforward. We hit receive, and it's going to generate a Tron address, and we can just do copy address here, and then go back over to our Tron Scan wallet, and this time we'll do wallet send and we'll give it the valid Tron address. And I'm just gonna max it out too. I'm just gonna take them all off of what the leftovers, so we'll hit send. All right, and then it wants us to confirm again on the ledger. That's our security feature. And we'll just hit that button to confirm the transaction. Oh, uh, okay, something went wrong. So I'm assuming that uh, it's possible that uh, there was nothing left over for fees. Maybe that's kind of a, uh, a glitch in this wallet. So I'm gonna try again. All right, confirming on the ledger. And it's successful. So I think uh, what happened is uh, they had the max button. Uh, the max button uh, did not take into account the that it needed to leave some over for the uh, fee, the Tron fee for the Tron blockchain network. I might be wrong about that, but that might be what has happened to some of my viewers is that they tried to send the max and something went wrong. So if you'll notice what I did, I just sort of uh, lowered the amount slightly so that I would have an extra Tron left over. So uh, we'll click okay there. And now we can see that I've got a, a, about two Tron left in the wallet. And I don't know if they subtracted uh, a little bit out of there or not. It's not very, uh, uh, the, the transaction doesn't really show up here right away. So uh, anybody that's had this experience, uh, throw something up in the comment, but I'm almost certain that that was the problem, that uh, it needed to leave some leftover for fees. Most other cryptocurrency wallets will uh, calculate that for you when you choose max but maybe Tron didn't. All right, so uh, let's go back over to main wallet and boomity boom, that was fast, it's already in there. All right, there's the 1998. Let's go back over to our Bittrex and see how that's doing. And let's do a quick refresh here, do pending, and ah, ah, okay. So it's already in the wallet. It, I, I didn't even check it in time to see that it was pending. So there, that's the 2000 that we transferred uh, from the uh, Tron Scan wallet ledger uh, over to the uh, back to Bittrex, in case you needed to sell your Tron. And I moved it into the Tron Scan wallet for safe and secure long-term storage. Uh, truth be told, if I'm gonna do long-term Tron storage, I most likely am going to wanna keep it on, in, on the ledger, uh, but like I said, there were a few people that were having some difficulties uh, after they moved their Tron into this wallet and were screaming bloody murder that I uh, gave them a video on how to throw your Tron into a black hole. So uh, I just wanted to set the record straight and show you that it is uh, pretty trivial to move your Tron out of this uh, ledger-based wallet.
So I would like to remind everyone that I have a uh, live stream every Friday night, Pacific Standard Time, 6 p.m. Uh, join me for the... Guys, please. So I would like to remind everyone that I do have a live stream every Friday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, join me for the live Q&A in L.A. And I hope to see you there. Throw out any questions that you may have. And we'll have time to talk about Tron. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.